any form of sexual conduct in the workplace is inappropriate and may be considered sexual harassment if the actions or comments are unwanted or threatening to someone. Most forms of sexual harassment can be broken down into three categories, verbal, visual, and physical. Verbal sexual harassment can include sexist remarks, foul language, off-color jokes, talking about sex, and propositioning someone. Visual sexual harassment can include pin-up pictures, magazines that have sexual content, sexually oriented objects, pornographic websites, and making obscene gestures. Physical sexual harassment includes purposefully brushing up against someone, groping, and sexual assault. Mm -hmm. okay. For a situation to be considered harassment, there usually has to be a pattern of offensive conduct. However, a single incident can be deemed sexual harassment if it involves blatantly touching someone with sexual intent or forcing them to put up with sexual advances to retain or advance their job. Sexual harassment can often start out with what appear to be innocent remarks or jokes that escalate to more hurtful actions as a harasser tests the victim's boundaries. You know, I was just apologizing. Yeah, I know you were apologizing, but you were getting ready to tell one of those jokes, and we've talked about those jokes before. Now listen, if you do it again, I'm going to have to file charges of sexual harassment, okay? Okay. All right, get back to work. When a worker is repeatedly subjected to this type of conduct, it can slowly tear down their self-respect, leaving them feeling powerless. As a result, sexual harassment victims are often reluctant to report the situation. The best way for you as a manager to prevent sexual harassment is to observe how employees interact and discourage your workers from engaging in any type of sexual conduct. According to the U.S. Equal Employment Opportunities Commission, the EEOC, sexual harassment is a form of sexual discrimination. As such, it violates the Civil Rights Act of 1964, which protects all American workers from racial, ethnic, age, and sexual discrimination. To prevent sexual harassment, your company must have a written sexual harassment policy in place so that managers and workers can recognize inappropriate behavior and report actions that may constitute harassment. In addition, most states have regulations regarding sexual harassment that companies and managers must follow. A number of states, including California, Connecticut, Vermont, and Maine, even have comprehensive sexual harassment training requirements.